Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Ty Boogie. Hey, man, look, today we're going to talk about this Angel Reese tweet. This was after they won over the, uh, playing the Liberty, the Sky versus the Liberty. You know, they called a W. Liberty was is one of the best teams in the WNBA. Um, if you guys have been under a rock and you just don't know, but the WNBA has really been getting that shine, has really been getting that attention after years of not getting the attention. They're finally getting the attention. People are finally looking at the WNBA. They're finally watching the games. People are tweeting about it. ESPN is covering it. All type of stuff. This is came from a special star named Caitlin Clark. Because of Caitlin Clark, a lot of people are tuning in to the WNBA. They tuned they tuned into women's basketball. She had a arch nemesis or whatever you want to call it. Um, somebody else that was also getting attention at the time, um, in college basketball because she was the other player on the team that she was the best person on her team. Uh, LSU and K Caitlin Clark played for Iowa so because Caitlin Clark bringing so many eyes of course the uh, opposing team's best player is going to get a lot of attention not to say that those two players are on the same level but it brought a lot of attention to the game it brought a lot to the storyline and everything Caitlin Clark plays similar to like a Stephen Curry you know with the with the sidestep three-point shot that just makes people want to watch it makes you want to see what she's going to do next Angel Reese plays more similar to like a Joel Embiid she's bigger than a lot of people on the court she can grab a rebound and do a sloppy layup throwing it back up a lot of people have made this about race they have made it a black and white thing and separated it from the skill saying that all oh, the only reason why you guys support Caitlyn and not Angel Reese is because of their is because Angel Reese is black and because Caitlyn Clark is white now, here we are in the WNBA, both of them have been drafted, and Angel Reese, she's in the WNBA, Caitlin Clark, she's in the WNBA. Caitlin Clark has not won a game yet, but her games have been, like, she is, same way she was playing in college is how she's playing now, but her team is trash, which is why they got the number one pick. If you guys don't know anything about basketball or anything about sports, the worst team last year gets the best, gets the number one uh, overall pick in the draft. The worst team with the worst record last year gets the overall pick this year. That's how that works. Caitlin Clark was drafted number one. What does that mean? She was drafted to the worst team of last year. So when you watch Caitlin Clark's games, you see that. Okay, she's executing. She still has that wow factor. She's still adjusting because her turnovers are way too high. But she still has that wow factor. But her team is is just is holding her back. Her team, like, I mean, they catch rebounds. And like I said in my last video, they'll fall under, under the basket. Literally, no defense. They'll just fall. They blow open layups. It's just crazy things. And these are things that Caitlin Clark can't control. So now you have Angel Reese on the other hand. Angel Reese is on a much better team. Angel Reese, she's her points and um her points and rebounds have given her a double double. But I have to say this. A lot of her rebounds, and again, I'm taking race out of this. A lot of her rebounds are coming from her missed layups. She'll miss a layup, and then she's tall enough again to grab it again, try to shoot it again, miss it again, grab it again, and then shoot it. So, yes, yeah, she's getting a double-double, and she's winning. Her team is a lot better because she got drafted a lot later than Caitlin Clark. So, she's catching Ws. A lot of people said, um, Charles Barkley said the only reason why, um, not Charles Barkley, but LeBron James said the only reason why people even watching the WNBA is because of Caitlin Clark. A lot of the attention, a lot of money I get in is because of Caitlin Clark. Charles Barkley even said, stop hating on, on Caitlin Clark. Now Angel Reese makes this tweet, and that's on getting a win in a packed-out arena or a packed-out area, not just because of one player on our charter flight. <sighs> so basically, this shot is clearly to Caitlin Clark, because if you're going to take 
if it, all of these charter planes and charter flights wasn't happening last year, because of the eyeballs that the WNBA is getting now, it brings in more money. So now they can take these charter flights, these charter buses. They they like they're riding around a lot more fancier. And she's saying it's not just because of one player that um we basically got a W in a packed out arena. Okay, two things I want to I want to break down this tweet real quick. Number one, first thing you said. And that's on getting a win in a packed out arena. Now, I would ask this. Do you guys think, take race out of it, because again, I'm black, very black, black as it gets. All right? Do you guys believe that if Kaylin Clark was not in college basketball, she, she's not in the WNBA, do you guys think we'll know who Angel Reese is? Sit to yourself real quick and ask yourself that. Do you think that Angel Reese's games in the WNBA will be packed out still? Or do you think that her being the person on the other side of the coin versus Caitlin Clark brought attention to her, which brought the whole race debate, which brought, you know, her 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 um her, her personality, which was created a image for herself which now she got fans do you think all of that would happen if she wasn't playing against caitlin clark now for the people that's like of course she would because she's that good of course she would because she's very entertaining i want to ask you guys a question do you are there not other players in the wnba that have the same characteristics as angel reese in college are there not College players that were way better than Angel Reese in her position. Okay, now let's flip the coin. Were there a lot of players in college that were better than Caitlin Clark? No. <laughs> no, which is why she got so much attention. The person on the other side, it didn't matter who that person was. If they were outspoken and, and they were on the other team and they're doing these antics during the game to... And, and it's going viral, that person would have been the same position as Angel Reese. Angel Reese, it's not her game that makes people interested in her. It's her story. It is the whole hand on the face, the John Cena moment that she had um, whenever she was playing Clay Caitlin Clark. It's all of those. Yes, are there racist people in these scenarios? I'll be seeing some of these profiles on Twitter and stuff. Yeah, a lot of them, is, they're, they're on that race that race category. But when we talk why that arena was packed, the arena was packed because of the seed that was planted again for your career was Caitlin Clark. Had you been playing a regular smegler team and you did the whole John Cena hand in the face, nobody going to be caring about that. Y'all already had the attention because of what Caitlin was doing. And then you did that. So now people was like, who is this? Now they're watching your game. Now it's a whole debate on who's who's better and, and who's this and who's that and this person's winning and that person's losing. That's the reason why. Charter flight. Where do y'all think this funding came from for these charter flights? For you to be on a charter flight if it wasn't there last year. The views that Caitlin Clark have brought y'all. That's just facts. We weren't watching with players that play like you, Andrew Reese. I'm gonna I'm take take away her color, take away um, take away any antics, take away all that stuff. With just Angel Reese and her game, and the way other the way other pl uh, players play, just like how she plays, we were not interested. It did not bring eyeballs. The way Caitlin Clark plays brought eyeballs. So, to this right here, this comment right here, I would just say this this gives people ammunition. And I heard that she deleted it as well, which I think was the right thing to do. Just play basketball. Just play basketball. The WNBA, I'm going to be honest with y'all, is starting to, we have not been paying y'all no attention. And now that we are, I got to be honest, it seems like a messy-ass league. It seems like a messy-ass league. I sit here and watch the 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 um the men's basketball games. Even if they don't like another player, they're not doing this. They're still coming off professional. They're still 
you know, just letting that game speak for itself. You know, they played a good game. You know, I got to give it to my team. You know, this was a good game. Okay, until next time. Y'all are literally bringing attention to yourselves because of drama. Let your game speak for itself. And that's the thing about Angel Reese. I have to be real about this. Her whole persona, her, her, her influence, all of this has been driven off of drama. It is not, it is not a good game that she has played. It has literally been off of drama. You think about it from the first time I've heard her was her doing a hand in the face. Then after that, it, it, it was, oh, you know, people are, you know, telling uh, telling me these things about, you know, my sex appeal and things of that nature. And, oh, it's because I'm a black girl. And, you know, think I'm not going to sit here and take those things away from her and say that those aren't happening. But at the same time, your game should be able to speak for itself. And that be what brings new attention. I don't see anybody talking about how good of a game you play. I see how everybody talks about the things you say. Things you wear, the things you're doing, but then we make this a race thing to protect you. I can't. I, I can't sit here and do that. So for you to take this shot at Caitlin Clark, I don't feel like it's fair. Now, I mean, I feel like WNBA, y'all need to just support the girl because it's doing good for y'all. Y'all need a LeBron James. Y'all need a Michael Jordan. Even if this is something a media ploy and something the media wants to push, allow the media to push her. It's good for y'all. Because of what they did for Michael Jordan, there was a Kobe. Because of what they did for LeBron, there's now a Jason Tatum. There's a Steph Curry. The the do you see how much money's in that league? Because of all the people that's coming to the, to watch the league, y'all are coming off as some dramatic drama queens. I mean that in in haters. Just gotta be honest with you. And you know how this is all going to end? It's going to play against all y'all. Because now what we're going to do is, as the viewers, we're just going to turn our backs. And then y'all will be back riding on Greyhounds. So instead, support the girl. Support her and say, man, this is exactly what we needed. Because after her is going to be somebody else. This is how it works. So Angel Reese, I say this. Let your game speak. You don't need to speak. Let your game speak. And if you are going to speak, have some type of some some type of respect of the game, respect to your, your, your fellow other players. If people aren't talking trash to you, why do you have to talk trash? You know why? Because that is what your influence is built off of. It's not your game. It is the trash talking. It is the, the, the media antics. You're a basketball player. Play basketball. Not sitting here telling her to shut up and play. But at the same time, play ball. Let that be the reason why we talk about you. Not all these media tweet and antics and stuff like that. Hey, man, it's me, your boy, Ty Boogie. Y'all comment below what y'all think about this. I, um, WNBA do better. You know what I mean? Um, I wish the best of luck to all these women. But I hope they see the bigger picture sooner, sooner than later. Because sooner or later, we're all going to turn our backs on y'all. Because it's, it's starting to become a headache to even... Focus on the WNBA. And in return, that's not going to play in y'all favor. Hey, man, it's been your boy, Ty Boogie. I'm out of here, man. Peace.